what's up you guys welcome back to my channel um, my name is Nakwaya welcome if you're new here um, today's video is a chit chat get ready with me I am just going to be trying out some new makeup doing my face and of course I'm gonna be just reflecting on the year that has passed and just kind of talking you guys through what my year has been like and maybe we might have had some of the same experiences or similar you know things happening in our lives um so yeah if you guys are interested in that then definitely keep on watching okay guys before i get into this video i'm gonna answer your questions what happened to vlogmas nothing actually happened to vlogmas and that's kind of why i stopped um i did tell you guys that i will likely be doing nothing when i was at home and that's kind of what happened i really didn't do much um and i know like oh be authentic like film what you're actually doing the point is i was actually not doing anything and the times that i did do stuff like i tried to film it but it was so few and far in between it couldn't have um become like a consistent vlog for vlogmas like maybe like it could have been like a weekly vlog but we were doing vlogmas and i couldn't like it just it just wasn't um footage that i was comfortable putting out like it just didn't look good to me it really just for me wasn't a standard that i was happy with and so i didn't even bother um putting it out i still do have it um but i'm sorry guys um it was my first time doing vlogmas and i really didn't plan it out as well as i could have and um yeah i've learned a lot from doing it and definitely like next year i'm gonna do better and stuff but i do have a few interesting vlogs coming out very soon because i'll be traveling and so you guys will get to see that you guys will get to come with me um so yeah i'm sorry about that but i will definitely make it up to with you make it up to you guys with a few more vlogs and just in that same vein thank you guys so much for supporting me during vlogmas i really did feel the love like i was just like wow me but anyway that is neither here nor there um so yeah so let's get on with this face um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my face with this um, vitamin wake up mist by pixie beauty it looks like this it's just like a hydrating facial mist it's nothing necessarily special but I'm just gonna um, start off with it just to hydrate my face and while that is drying, I'm going to quickly go off camera and do my brows because y'all know brows take forever. Okay, forever. So I'll be back in a little bit. So as usual, I'm going to start off by priming my eyes and I'm going to talk you guys through this as best as I can without like getting too caught up in the makeup or too caught up in the conversation that I don't actually talk or do makeup. If you guys get what I'm trying to say so yeah 2018 you guys um if i had to for me oh that's a lot rate this year i'll definitely give it a good rating like overall um i mean they were like really for me not the greatest times but like overall i think for me this was a good year um just like just right out the gate let me say that like like just like in comparison with 2017 um 2018 has been like a completely better year like for me 2017 was such a trash year for me i feel like i didn't accomplish much i didn't accomplish any of my goals like I was just in a really funky space the whole year and so when 2018 rolled around I was just like no I am not going through this again I'm going to have a good year and I literally feel like I was quite intentional about like where I wanted my year to go and like what I wanted to achieve and stuff so I tried to act accordingly like i try to do things accordingly obviously 
a girl is human and I slipped up and like you know didn't like act how I wanted to act and do things how I wanted to do them um, all the time but I think overall I did quite well so one of the things that I think for me was useful that I actually started doing was I started um, going to work early like I literally would leave my house at the earliest 6 30 or like 6 45 and be in the office by seven o'clock latest like 10 past seven and this kind of just allowed me to like set my day like um plan out what i wanted to do and achieve during the day and like go into the day with a clear mind as opposed to getting to my work at eight o'clock when i'm supposed to get there and just rushing into work that kind of allowed me to really just like have a clear mind regardless of how much pressure I was facing at work and believe me it was a lot like it was a lot like I managed to just keep a clear mind and I'm like I'm definitely like um anxious person like oh my gosh I have the worst um anxiety like it's 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 not even a joke I have the worst anxiety and one of the ways that I find works in helping with my anxiety is like I plan and stuff like that so I can kind of know how things are going or like I prepare myself so that whatever comes like I've prepared myself the best way that I can and I just take it as it goes so that's one of the ways that I found um kind of like helped me this year so now guys I'm gonna do my eyes and I just wanted to show you that I've picked up quite a few new palettes over the past few months and I haven't gotten a chance to try them all because like one face right um, but I just thought I would show them to you guys um, and I'll also show you kind of what I decided to go with so one of the new palettes that I got is this one by Urban Decay this is the Born to Run palette and it looks like this on the inside um, very pretty and then there's the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. I've actually used this like one time um, And I actually put up a picture on my Instagram. I'll see if I can insert that picture So this is what the palette looks like so so pretty um, And then I picked up some Juvia's Place palettes when I was in the States because they had like this um, Full sale that was ridiculously cheap. So I got the warrior 2 palettes. I got the um, what is this the Zulu palette and I got the festival palette. I also got one of their blush palettes um, Which I will use later, but anyway, this is oh This is what the festival palette looks like This is what the warrior palette looks like very like neutrals browns bronze goddess vibes and then this is the Zulu palette, very bright, um, very, you know, bold colors. So I've, I've picked those palettes up over the past few months, but what I will be using today is the Morphe and James Charles palette. This palette is so huge, by the way, you guys, so huge. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's called the Unleash Your Inner Artistry palette, I think. Um, and this is what... It looks like it's so crazy that I bought this right and I, I like I went into an altar and I thought like oh I'll not find it because it's sold out everywhere and imagine my surprise like literally the altar that I went to and um, they literally the whole display was like fully stocked like no issues so that is the palette that I am going to be using today on my eyes and I know it's the in unleash your inner artistry palette but like today I'm just like talking through I mean I'm doing a get ready with me so honestly I have no patience or like the ability to like do a bold eye look just because I need to concentrate for that kind of stuff you guys so I'm just gonna be doing a normal neutral eye with a bit of a cut crease okay so as I was saying so that was one of the things that I kind of did just to I mean give myself that little kick in the morning right and I feel like it really helped. Um, Work-wise, for me, this year has been such a great year in terms of, like, growth and just, like, learning new things and just, um, 
growing in my job as you guys may know I work in the foreign ministry um, this year for me was my third year in the ministry and like literally everything for me just came together this year just by the way now that I've zoomed you guys in um, I'm still working out my lighting setting so if it's too bright or too light just let me know in the comments um, obviously I will review the footage but let me know how it looks to you guys as well so I can kind of figure that out as well so yeah workwise for me has been a year of so much growth I've learned so much got to work with such amazing people um, and I'm really like right now working on stuff that I'm so passionate about like I absolutely absolutely am loving what I'm doing now like it's it's a lot like in terms of the workload it's a lot but I do it with a happy heart and a happy mind like I'm not like oh why do I have to do this like I absolutely am enjoying it um, and of course like through work I got the opportunity and like just the privilege to go to New York for the General Assembly um, if you're a diplomat and you're in diplomacy like going to the GA going to the GA for the first time you guys is like just an absolute thing like it's it's a complete blessing and just a complete experience am I using this a completely new experience and such a like the UN is like the pinnacle for me at least um, of diplomacy it's like so many nations and all that good stuff and you know getting to go there and meet people and just see how things are done um, I mean it's completely different sitting at your desk and getting reports um, as opposed to like literally being in the thick of things and just making um, things happen you know so for me that was such a privilege and an honor um, I got to work with amazing amazing people like an amazing team and like I really just learned so much and grew so much and of course the perk the biggest perk was getting to live in New York for like pretty much like three months um, something that I would probably ordinarily never would have gotten a chance to do so I literally got to experience that um, and just be in that vibe guys it was just so so amazing and I'm so so thankful um, to God for that and like and like just having placed me in a position where I can experience that um, so for me work was a great year 2018 um, my personal life I would also say did quite well I think I was it was a great great year as well um, I mean as you guys know I got engaged so I think that would probably have been the pinnacle of my personal life but just you know it was such a great year for me in in that sense like Obviously, you guys know Yom, and just by the way, you guys, if you see Yom out and you want to say hi to him, please just let him know that you like you know him from my channel. Because obviously, Yom's not from here; he doesn't know many, uh, very many people here. So he's always so confused when people come up to him and say hi to him. And I mean, he's the friendliest guy, so he'll never be rude or whatever. But like, I know it like just throws him off completely. And I and I low key feel like at some point he's gonna be like, I don't want to be in your videos anymore. So um, I'm just using um, one of the colors from the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette just to um, intensify my crease. So yeah, guys, like um, personal wise, um, this year has also been really great for me. Um, in 2019, one of the things that I do feel like I want to improve on definitely has to be like my walk with Christ which I think I've been okay with but it's always an opportunity to grow and like do better and be a better person and just like get closer to to God 
and I found that in 2018 while I did do that quite a bit um, I also I also um, did like lose focus a little bit sometimes just because I was so busy at work and stuff like that so that is definitely one of the things I want to improve on and just like strengthen my prayer life and all that stuff because honestly God has been so good and just so amazing that was the personal um I did download this thing you guys and I want to tell you guys about it and I'll maybe like I'll link it down below or I'll put the link down below um I downloaded this um what do you call it a goals planner thing like from this girl um her name is finally fiona on youtube like i've been following her for for a while now she's like a hair and lifestyle um a youtuber here and she's based in the uk and uh, this is not the first planner that i've downloaded from her before i have downloaded like her planners before and listen i feel like they're so bomb like the one she sent literally has like a three month um plan like a five month no six month um, one year five years which I think is great so I bought it off of Etsy I can't remember how much it costs right now but it's such a useful guide you guys like literally I'm so okay I haven't started on it which is questionable for me but like I am so keen to start on it just because I'm like okay I need to get things in order I need to get things done and this will really I feel really really get me to that point right um so yeah that is pretty much been for me 2018 in a nutshell um obviously the year has had its challenges and you know you want to grow from those and just learn as much as you can from those challenging times next um on my eyes i'm gonna use this stila stila liquid um eyeshadow this is the shade kitten karma and i'm gonna use that to kind of like cut my crease because i don't have time for that today um so yeah quick easy cut crease no questions no issues we're done um so yeah what was i talking about oh yes my year whatever um what am i looking forward to in 2019 well the biggest thing for me is obviously getting married um that's definitely one of the biggest things like that's on my calendar yeah so getting married growth at work i think like this year for me will be like it's such a year for growth to take place and like i'm just looking forward to that um growth at work growth in god like i just feel like obviously i'm not perfect but i've been able to like identify where i need to grow where i need to do this where i need to do that so in terms of my journey with christ i'm literally like ready to get in there and just do the work that needs to be done um i'm priming my face guys and i'm using this this is the tatcha silk canvas primer i've used this before um i don't know if i've ever spoken about it but i absolutely love this primer it creates such a really beautiful like base for your foundation Um, another thing that I'm actually looking forward to you guys this year is um, YouTube like I feel like it has taken me a while to kind of figure out what like I want to do on YouTube and kind of just like where I want my channel growth to go um, and I finally think I've kind of figured that out now um, 
and I'm working on that and I've gotten like new equipment new lighting a new lens as you guys can probably tell um, so this will obviously help me just in terms of creating better con content and just like for example with having lights now I can create whichever time I want um, which is great because previously like I was confined to like a couple of hours during the day when the Sun was out and I mean I am a busy person so now this kind of just allows me more freedom in terms of when I can create and stuff like that um, so I'm really happy about that my camera cut off there but what I was saying is one of the things that I am thinking of doing is changing my channels branding um, as you guys know right now on social media and on YouTube my channel name is lipstick and afros and the reason for that was that kind of speaks to my content and just because of work and being in a professional space I wasn't sure whether I wanted to use my real name and stuff like that because I really wasn't sure where I'd be going with this YouTube channel and now that I kind of have an idea I'm feeling like I probably will change that and just like change my all my social media handles to my real name aka Nakwaya um, just for better identification and better branding purposes and like I kind of really have like a hold on where I want to be with this you know so so that's kind of why um, I'm thinking of of doing that um, I am using the whoo, Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade chestnut to um, conceal under my eyes and stuff I really like this um, concealer the coverage is amazing it blends out amazingly it's just a really good concealer I also bought the foundation um, the one from the extended range that um, Jackie Aina helped um, helps curate but the thing is that I don't think I got the right shade like I think it might be a little bit too light for me so I might only be able to use it in the winter I actually just tried it on in store and then one other day Um, to set my what do you call this thing my concealer I'm gonna use the Sasha cosmetics or Sasha buttercup powder um, so I actually just realized you guys that my lighting wasn't balanced on both sides of my face so I quickly kind of switched that up and I hope it's better now this is a work in progress okay we're working through this together um, for my contour I'm using the Fenty Beauty matchstick in the shade Espresso So yeah guys, um, again, that's just a few of the things that I'm like trying to work on in 2019. Um, I'm also, now I have a vlog camera, so my content will now really be able to a bit, be a bit more lifestyle, just because, well, I have the ability to film lifestyle now. It's so hard vlogging when you have just like my beauty camera, like my big bulky Canon, 200d it's so hard to vlog on that um, so now I have a whole new camera that I can use for my vlogs um, I know you guys do request video things for me to film but I would also again appreciate it if you keep leaving them in the comments just so I can get an idea of what you guys would watch because it's 
low-key a bit frustrating when like you put you're like oh you think people would love this video then you must know what people want right apparently you like oh people would love this video and you actually like go ahead and you put so much effort into making a video and it doesn't get any views or like it gets like a ridiculously like small amount of views okay guys so I am back I just um, applied my lashes off camera that's not new I what else did I do I did my bronzer um, yeah so what am I gonna do now lips hold on For my highlight, I oh that was a lipstick from MAC, um, Cream in Your Coffee, and I lined my lips with Night Moth, also my MAC. Um, I am highlighting my face with my usual Artist Couture Times Jackie Aina La Bronze Glow Powder. So guys, I am about done. Let me go take this rag off and come back here looking cute like... It wasn't just me looking jacked up two seconds ago. Hold on. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I feel like I said a lot. I repeated a lot of things. But I guess maybe that kind of just gives you guys, like, an idea of literally what is on my mind and my heart for the coming year. Um, before I close out this video, because this is actually low-key one of my last videos for the year, I just want to say thank you guys so much for rocking with me this entire year. Um, I think we're at like 700 subscribers, which for a lot of people isn't a lot, and I'll admit it's not a big number, but it means so much to me because literally almost all the people that are subscribed to my channel, um, they interact with me, they leave comments, they're engaged, and for me that means so much more than a huge following that i'm disconnected with um so thank you guys so much for that thank you for watching my videos thank you for just like you know supporting what i do i know like you guys don't have to but you do so i absolutely appreciate every single one of you guys thank you for using your data on me i know it's not cheap guys so I really do appreciate that. Um, so yeah, I hope that, you know, 2019 is a great year for everyone. You, me, you know, everyone. And like, I hope that we can all go hard for our goals and just like grow from strength, strength to strength. Um, so yeah, guys, that, that is pretty much it for me and this video. Um, let me... You, let me know what you guys think about this hair it is new i just got it i literally haven't even put it in properly but i thought i'll just try it out um and maybe i'll do a video on it um yeah so guys keep your eyes peeled there's definitely a bit more content coming through um and yeah i'll catch you guys soon